Today is actually the first day that feels like spring in late April. Beginning of April we had some pretty nice days but it's about 65. A lot of the day was sunny. It's kind of starting to cloud up right now. But I was over at that Catholic parish behind me and then people started coming. I was doing videos and people started coming worshiping a statue of Jesus. So I decided to uh, drive over here where it's a little more peaceful and I don't disturb people worshiping. So I just wanted to make a video. I like doing a weekly tour obviously. It's about the only time I've been going out now because I'm working at home. So I've been, I was doing a tour of Niles and there's this place in Lordstown, you know, the Catholic parish I passed on the way here. I take two lane road all the way here to Niles so there's really no rest stop like there normally is. But um, I decided to just do do a, do an update on COVID-19 and you know, my opinion on the, on the whole matter of shutting everything down. Obviously from day one I've been opposed to shutting the economy down. I understand why they're doing it but uh, but I've been opposed to it because it's hard to know when the best time to reopen the economy would be and even if a few people have it, if 10 people have it in their state, there's going to be a spike when the economy reopens. So I think it was a bad time to ever, it was a bad idea to ever shut the economy down. I understand there was a lot of pressure from the media to do so and you know the media's ideology seems to be like if you're going out without a mask you are a murderer because you're going to spread the disease to people who are high risk and they're going to die. But that's not my opinion at all. Uh, my opinion is a little bit different from that. Uh, you know, I think the economy, the United States economy is what we, what defines America. Ultimately, it's people define the economy. But I think if you're high risk, if you have diabetes or elderly, you're, you should stay indoors and if you're able to go outside we could develop a herd immunity and if we would have never shut down we would have developed that herd immunity quicker and now that you know supposedly it's getting warmer they're they're gonna let everybody out but I think that's a hoax because when people are indoors uh, people are indoors in the winter more so the flu spreads more in the winter because people are indoors uh, I don't necessarily think heat kills the flu, uh, the COVID-19 virus. I, I think that's a little bit of a hoax. Um, but I do believe the COVID-19 virus is real and I believe it, it, it can actually kill people. Uh, but I, I don't think it's as serious as, as people say. Because back in 2017, 2018, 80,000 people died of the flu and there hasn't even been 80,000 people yet in the United States to have died from COVID-19. So I just think it's a little bit overemphasized by the media, but I love people and I understand why people, um, you know, why there's a fear out there. But, you know, I think it's important that we, we resume life as normal, um, as quickly as possible. I think it's important that we we as, as Americans come together, um, obviously being socially distant, I think that's important, which we can, most of the time you can be while working. I don't know if the handshake's ever gonna come back. Uh, that's something I've always loved doing, giving people hugs. I've loved doing that too. And um, that's something that, that I don't know if ever will come back. I, I think it will though. I know if you're in a, in a relationship, you're probably still giving your significant other hugs and kisses <laughs> but uh if you if you're not you know it's it's kind of lonely i fortunately live with my parents so i've been living alone i i can't imagine living alone at this time it, it'd be extremely isolating but you know fortunately i'm able to work from home um which has been nice to be able to do um but I just wish you know the economy would have never would have never shut down like it did because I know there's a lot of struggling people out there who've lost their jobs struggling to pay their bills and I know that's got to be really tough so you know I, I admire every one of you for for the courage because I know America has a lot of courage and um, 
you know, I think the economy can potentially become better than it ever was. I know there's a lot of people, great people out there who, who aren't working, who are thinking about great things to do in the future. And I think there's a lot of great things to be done in the future. And maybe this time will help bring the country as an entirety together because you do feel a lot of division within the country. Uh, the media, um, just if you go, you know, any city, there's a lot of fighting. You hear, you hear about murdering all the time. Uh, so hopefully this COVID-19 will help the country to be better. And I think there's a lot of people who are doing a great job out there within the, uh, within the government. And I think DeWine has been doing a good job. I wish you'd have never shut the state down, but I understand why he did. He loves people and I love people too. But I just think if you're high risk, you should, you should have, you know, been required to stay indoors rather than everybody, uh, rather than supposed non-essential employees. Because I think everybody's essential. If you're paying for it, you know, it's essential. Maybe not entertainment, like maybe that could be shut down. But manufacturing, I know there's a lot of manufacturing out and other things that that are uh, very important to do. So. I love this country and I think we're going to have a great future, but it's just hard knowing the best thing to do. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.